So, Reed, kind of wrapping it up, um, I'm kind of like, I'm sure everybody's asked you, you know, where does CLFP go from here? You already talked about that. You're going global. What, what maybe I should ask you that I haven't asked you or what should most people, you, questions you get all the time, um, you find yourself having to answer? My number one is who should do it or why should I do it? And um, my answer is the same every time. If you look at the 1,018 CLFPs, uh, li likely they'll have different answers. Um, but I always say that CLFP is not for everyone. If you don't see a benefit in it, it's not something you should do. And I see you know, employers really pushing their employees to do it. And um, I think it's just something you have to find within yourself. Uh, you know, There's people like me who is the geek who wanted to learn everything. And then there's people like you who, an industry veteran, nothing makes my heart warmer than to see someone like you go through it because especially i mean your your name's on the line not that i would tell anyone if you failed maybe you failed the first time kidding um but you know it's it's <laughs> there's a lot you know you're you're kind of vulnerable um taking a test like that and um so i mean everyone should do it and what i really am looking forward to in terms of 2022 because it's not going to happen this year it's just getting together um, our CLFPs, we consider ourselves, I, I liken it to the mafia. Once you get in, you can't go, get out. I've tried a couple times. Um, Kevin Preichel doesn't like that. He says it's like Hotel California Eagles. You can check out, but you can never leave. Yeah, you never leave. <laughs> yep. Um, but we really are a family. I mean, um, you know, seeing people, seeing CLFPs get together at conferences is one of my favorite things because you can bond just by seeing that badge or the, the letters or whatever. And it's just, that's what I want. I want community. And um, it's kind of a microcosm of our of our industry. And the only thing I will say that's somewhat sad is before I knew all of my CLFPs, I knew them by name and by face. And obviously, now that we're at 1018, I don't. Um, so sometimes people will come up to me at a at a conference and they have CLFP after their name. I'm like, are you really? Um, and I just have to obviously, you know, believe that they are. But I think that's the big thing. I think we would all like to just celebrate, especially the thousand. I mean, we really had some big plans of what we were going to do, but there was something called a pandemic that happened. Um, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. I think we may be still going through it a little bit. A, a little bit. Well, we're here on my, we're here on my patio up on the fourth floor of my condo. So, uh, right. yes, I, I get it. Yeah. So that's what I see. I see us all getting together and celebrating at some point and whether it's over zoom or whatever, I just want to celebrate. Is there, I'm so proud of where we've gotten. Is there a stretch goal for 2021 and 2022? Okay, let me just recover and relish right now. I still, David Normand is saying, and, you know, 2014, we're going to be, actually, I realize now it's 2015. The five-year goal was go from 201 to 1,000. And I'm like, this is never going to happen. And, you know, had COVID not happened, it would have. But, no, right now I just want to say, yay, 1,000. And, um I'd say 1,500 in the next year or two. Uh, okay. That, that's an admirable goal. 50% yeah. jump. I like it. Okay. I like it. Well, Reed, thank you so much for spending time with us thank today. You. I know you're busy doing what you're doing, and uh, I can't thank you enough and uh, applaud you enough for everything you're doing. And uh, I have a much greater appreciation for the CLFP certification designation having gone through it. So well, thank, thank you. And th I pat yourself on the back. I mean, yeah. I'm pretty proud of you. <laughs> I'm pretty surprised about me is what I am. <laughs> Have a good day. And you, uh, we will see you soon, I'm sure, at an industry association live. I know. Yay. Yay. See, see you later. Hugs. You got it. Take care. Bye-bye. Right.